Hello Scorpio, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. Uh, this is your reading for the um, 15th through to the 21st of August 2022 or thereabouts. Uh, universal timing is fluid, so it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, it is a general reading Scorpio, so take what resonates. Um, anything that doesn't leave that behind, it'll be for somebody else at this time. All right, we've had um, the full moon in Scorpio, the full moon in your sign here. And it's saying it's time to release any negativity now. All right, I'll just put that to one side. All right, we'll get one more. Right, Scorpio, um, this is the first quarter moon and this is saying that your commitment to something is being tested now. Okay, just put that to one side as well. Okay, let's see what this is all about. What do we have for Scorpio, please? 15th, 21st of August, 2022. Important message for Scorpio to consider, please. So could we clarify all the cards on the table for Scorpio, please? Clarify all the cards on the table for Scorpio. Alright Scorpio, we've got strength, which is a major arcana, this is Leo, uh, a Leo energy, but this is strength, um, okay, Taurus energy, uh, clarified by the Nine of Wands, so this is about being, being strong, sorry, sorry, not Taurus energy, this is Leo energy, sorry, um, I haven't woken up yet. <laughs> So, um, okay, something about um, needing to take control, control, harness the power of the beast, if you like. So take control of something um, in, the, in the way that you know you can. So drawing on your inner strength, um, Scorpio. Okay. Um, it may be taking control of something within you or something external to you, but, but being strong. Um, because there is just one final thing, one last thing here um, that needs sorting, that needs dealing with. All right, Scorpio. So at the heart of your reading, we've got another major arcana. This is Justice. This is a uh, Libra energy and uh, the Ten of Swords. So... At the heart of your reading, Scorpio, there's something about the scales needing to be balanced now, as a need for justice. Now, this is either karmic justice um, or an actual legal situation, all right? But there's something, the scales need to be put right, something needs to be put right, or is being put right, for some of you, Scorpio. 
because and the reason for that is um there's been a very very painful and difficult situation for you where you've felt stabbed in the back betrayed um but because these have come out at the heart of your reading i feel the swords are starting to lift now and they're going to lift because this this justice is, is coming in for you for some of you it won't be for everybody but this this is the energies are honing in on somebody's story here yes at the root of this we've got the De devil energy here and the eight of swords all right um now the devil energy which is the capricorn energy um now this talks this is a toxic energy so this can be this can represent um somebody who has obsessions uh, addictions even um it can represent somebody who has a large ego for example that's another layer to the to the devil energy somebody who's very self-serving very just thinks about themselves okay um clarified by the eight of swords um and so a decision needing to be made or is needed to be made about a, a way forward concerning this toxic energy a way out of a very difficult situation but it's a difficult decision to make nevertheless so there's a almost choosing to leave the blindfold on there even though you could shake the binds off your wrists and take the blindfold off you would see the decision that you had to make that the way forward uh, but it's it's a very difficult one to make because the devil energy somebody who has the devil energy can be very attractive it's a very it can be a very alluring tempting attractive energy all right so this is at the root of this so whoever this devil energy is referring to they've created a, um there's been an injustice done i feel towards you for some of you scorpio all right um so what are the past influences right the past influences we have the fool and the sun the fool is the new beginning taking a leap of faith new and going in a new direction new opportunities all right um and promising such a lot of joy happiness abundance the sun you know sheds light on new situations um but brings in growth and expansion and this what this is what was on the table for you as a past influence so it everything looked really good looked promising it looked um good opportunities good new beginnings here however something happened and you you were betrayed um in some way all right um and there was an injustice and and i, f I feel it was brought about by um whoever this devil energy the toxic energy is referring to all right so what's on your mind <clears throat> scorpio well, we have the seven of rods and the five of wands and you can see just by looking at the pictures of these two cards that there's a lot of conflict here um different perspective different opinions having to stand up for yourself having to defend yourself here because of arguments discord disagreements all right needing to stand up and defend yourself stand in your ground and this is what you're thinking about scorpio okay so going forward we have the major arcana the, ma the magician and we have the queen of wands so going forward the energies are saying you have all the tools in your toolbox to manifest the reality that you want going forward to make things happen in the right way for you um and yes we've got the queen of wands here very inspirational energy um very creative entrepreneur um goes for opportunities sees opportunities and goes for them 
a very exciting energy to have around. And I feel this is, well, this is representing an aspect of yourself going forward, Scorpio. Because as the, with the Queen of Wands energy, you're going to have all the tools in your toolbox to manifest the rea reality you want for going forward. Now, what your guides, what your spirit guides want to say to you is we have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So what your spirit guides want to say is um, there's a need to think logically now, not to be emotional with the decisions that you are making or that you have to make. Um, be strategic. Um, cut away that which is no longer serving you. You know, be very clear, get to the the bottom, get to the root of things, um, get to the truth of the matter. But but you've got to be a little bit more clinical in your thinking. And I, I feel that's what your guides want to say to you now. Don't be emotional. Leave, leave your emotions out of your decision making now. All right. And it's to do with something that's on its way. It's coming in very slowly. Um, it could be something to do with finances, work or career, practical matters. But when it gets to you, it's solid gold. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow, but steady. This is solid. This is trustworthy energy that's coming in very slowly for you. Um, but there's a need for you to be strategic now. Um, and that's in connection with whatever it is that's on its way for you. Yeah, so that's why it's it's a need for you to be strong, to draw out, to take control. And because there's one final thing that needs sorting out, Scorpio. So it's time to release any negativity. But your commitment is certainly being tested here with this situation. All right, just bear with me a minute. Um, just bear with me a minute, Scorpio. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get one final message for you. One final message, please, for Scorpio. Final messages for Scorpio, please. Final messages for Scorpio. All right, we've got occupation now, so this has just popped out for you. Um, so I feel there's something here about your occupation, about what it is you're creating, working on. And we've had the Queen of Wands here, which, who is the um, entrepreneur, the creator, um, the energy of going for new opportunities. And of course, we've also had the magician, the grand manifester in the major arcana. And this is, this is you know, the skills that you're going to bring, go, bring to the fore going forward, Scorpio. So... Lovely, and it's something to do with work and career, occupation, hobby, whatever it means for you, Scorpio. So that's lovely. I'm going to leave it there. It's okay, I've just turned the pack over and, and I have seen this, so I will mention it. We've got thoughts here, um, and this is thinking about something or somebody, but giving something, some deep thought. I do feel that is connected with the Queen of Swords, though. This is about thinking things through pragmatically, um, clearly, clinically almost. You know, not allowing your heart um, centre to get in the way um, of, of your 
thinking now going forward, particularly when there's one final thing left to be sorted out. OK. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. This reading won't be for everybody. It is for somebody and whoever it's for, I hope it's had meaning for you and given you some clarity and support on your situation. But good luck going forward and until next time, bye bye for now.